Well, Governor DeSantis is trying to boost his popularity with voters, and he'll have a chance to do that tonight because he's going to debate California Governor Gavin Newsom on the uh, Fox News Channel. Our Kelly Cowan is here with a preview. Hey, Kel. Hey, good morning to you. Yeah, this is strategic for both governors, in fact. Each stand to score plenty of political points in this debate and set the stage for a potential 2028 showdown. DeSantis may be looking for a more immediate payoff, though. As you mentioned, this is a plum opportunity for DeSantis to shine in prime time ahead of January's Iowa caucus. And unlike the GOP debates, he's going to be the only conservative voice in the room. For Newsom, he's not just there to champion Biden in 2024. He's also playing the long game, positioning himself as the face of the future for Democrats. We haven't even had voters vote uh, in, in Iowa or New Hampshire or in the Republican primary, in either party's primary. But nonetheless, you have these two jockeying for position for what comes next while they're talking about the 2024 cycle. It is fascinating. It's unprecedented. And in many ways, it's much more exciting and interesting than next week's GOP presidential debate in Tuscaloosa, Alabama. Fox News host Sean Hannity will moderate what's been dubbed the Great Red versus Blue State Debate. It's going to run 90 minutes. Hannity plans to hit on issues including the economy, COVID, inflation, immigration, and crime. And you can catch all the action tonight live on the Fox News channel at 9 o'clock. All right, Kelly. Thank you. And Governor DeSantis has a lot of catching up to do if he's going to get the uh, Republican nomination for president. As of yesterday, as an average of several different national polls showing him trailing former President Trump by a wide margin, nearly 59% for Trump, 13% for DeSantis. Nikki Haley is uh, catching up at almost 10%. Vivek Ramaswamy is fourth at 5%. Chris Christie has 3%.